This video is going to be a quick unboxing and review of the Dazzle DV Recorder HD. As you can tell, the box looks kind of nice, not that that really matters. We want to know if the product actually works. In order to find out if this is a good product or not, you do have to watch this video all the way until the end. I'm taking it out, you know, as quick as I can really. Here we get to see that it has a driver for it as well as the software. It uses Pinnacle Studio for the software. As I stated, the hardware is from Dazzle and there's the instruction manual for it. You'd expect it to have a DVD and an instruction manual, nothing unusual about that. And here we get to see the product. We get to see the input options. There are no output options with this, obviously. It's not gonna go back out to a TV or anything like that. I'll be the first to admit the product has an odd shape to it, but we're not worried about what the product looks like. We wanna know if it's gonna work or not to capture VHS tapes and Hi8 tapes. Capturing from my Hi8 camera was problematic. Rather than demonstrating all the different recording techniques I did, I just thought I'd briefly say that the image quality looked good when I recorded from the composite using this particular device, but after 30 minutes, the audio got out of sync. I'm not gonna say that this product is a bad product. It may sound weird for me to say that. You gotta let me explain where I'm coming from. I've tried a lot of devices to capture VHS tape and Hi8 tape. A lot of them have been problematic, especially the cheap USB video capture devices. I want to say that if you go to Amazon, some people are going to say this Dazzle product was great. Other people are going to say I had sync issues with the audio until I downloaded the latest driver. Other people are going to say I didn't get it to work with Windows 10, but I got it to work with Windows 7 just great. You will find the exact same type of comments for the Elgato products, the Diamond products, as well as the Dazzle products. I want to let people know when I try these video capture cards, I'm not going to go and download the latest driver. I just kind of want to know how they work out of the box. I want to say that the problems I had with this product could be a driver issue. You'll see people on Amazon that review these capture devices, whether it's the Elgato, the Dazzle, or the Diamond product, they'll say that the software that comes with these products is trash and you should use OBS Studio. The point I'm trying to make is I have devices that can capture VHS tape as well as Hi8 tape, where some of the people buying these products do not. So they're gonna put more time and effort into making these products work than I'm going to. A lot of my viewers and subscribers know I like my Intensity Shuttle. One thing I want to say is that I have a couple of times had driver issues with that particular piece of hardware, but I really like that piece of hardware, so I'll troubleshoot the issues. If somebody was to buy the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle two years ago and download the latest drivers, it's possible it might be problematic on their Windows 7 system. But if they were to download drivers that were five or six years old, it might work just fine. And that's something I never really said in any of my videos when I'm dealing with these cheap USB video capture devices. I want to say that this Dazzle product is just as likely to work as the Elgato product, and the Elgato product's just as likely to work as the Diamond video capture device. Rather than trying to spend a lot of time and effort to get these cheap USB video capture cards to work, I recommend people just get the generic Firewire-based DV converters. They'll work if you have Windows 2000 all the way up to Windows 10. They can work with programs like iMovie, Final Cut Pro 10, Premiere Pro, the Edia software. They'll even work with Windows Movie Maker. There's no drivers to worry about with the Firewire-based DV converters. I've had three of them. I've never had a problem with any of them. Like I said, with the Intensity Shuttle, since it does require a driver, I have had a few bad driver issues with the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle. Some people have given the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle horrible reviews, when in fact it does work. 
I'm kind of saying that might be the issue with a lot of these products from Dazzle, Diamond, Elgato. They probably can work if you put time and effort into them. Most mini DV cams with Firewire or even the digital eight cameras from Sony can work like a DV converter. I know some people are thinking Firewire is obsolete, but Firewire is backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 3. You just have to make sure you get the Firewire adapter. That is going to be the end of this video. Hopefully some of you have learned something.